Water. The memory of going to the beach every New Year's Eve is one I share with cousins and most people raised black. How the elders would forbid us from going in too deep, to giggle, to splash in our black tights and shop right plastic bags wrapped around our new weaves, forbid us from riding the wave, for fear that we would be a mass of blackness swept by the tide and never to return, like litter. The elders forbid us as if the ocean has food poisoning. I often wonder why I feel as if I'm drowning every time I look out into the sea, this and feeling incredibly small. And I often hear this joke about black people not being able to swim or being scared of water. We are mocked and we have often mocked ourselves for wiping our faces the way that we do when we come out of the water compared to how they do it or bay watch like and how we so ratchet like with our postures and kink. Yet every time our skin goes under, it's as if the reeds remember they were once chains and the water restless wishes it could spew all of the slaves and ships onto shore, whole as they had boarded, sailed and sunk. Their tears are what have turned the ocean salty. This is why our irises burn every time we go under. Every December 16th, December 24th, December 31st and January 1st, our skin re-traumatizes the sea. They mock us for not being able to throw ourselves into something that was instrumental in trying to execute our extinction. For you, the ocean is for surfboards, boats and tans, and all the cool stuff you do under there in your bathing suits and goggles. But we, we have come to be baptized here. We have come to stir the other world here. We have come to cleanse ourselves here. We have come to connect our living to the dead here. Our respect for water is what you have termed fear. The audacity to trade and murder us over water, then mock us for being scared of it. The audacity to arrive by water and invade us. If this land was really yours, then resurrect the bones of the colonizers and use them as a compass. <laughs>